Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to share four different ways to change your natural hair texture. Now basically, all these methods could be grouped into two categories. One is texturizing and the other is straightening. Now texturizing in this context means altering your natural texture into another texture within the curly texture range. For example, if your hair is more like this type and you alter it to look more like this type of hair, that would be considered texturizing. Now there are different methods to this and we'll talk about those, the benefits, pros and cons, and from there you can decide which route you want to take. And the straightening method is basically changing your hair texture from curly or kinky to straight. And there are several methods you can use to do that as well. Now in this video, I'll be covering the texturizing part. I'll make a separate video for the straightening methods. Before I begin the video, I feel compelled to provide a disclaimer. If you get irritated every time you see black women doing something you deem unnatural with their hair, this video is going to trigger you big time. So consider this a trigger warning. You can always share your opinion, but I would really like the comment section to be a positive space devoid of criticism and judgment. Let's begin. So the first method of texturizing the hair is the one I personally did with my own hair, which is relaxing or text laxing. So I used a relaxer to loosen up the texture of my coils into a looser curl texture. So I'm tender-headed and I struggled a lot with managing my natural hair. Loosening the texture helped a lot with managing my hair. So here is a before and after. With this method, you simply relax your hair, but instead of letting the relaxer straighten your hair, you simply leave it for a very short time and then rinse it off. So one of the pros of this method is versatility. I can wear my hair straight or curly. Basically, despite relaxing my hair, I still retained my natural hair texture, except it's a loser curl pattern that I previously had. Another pro of using a relaxer is that it is the cheapest alternative since you can relax your own hair at home and basically choose how far you want to take this when it comes to the texture. If you want to see how I did that in the whole process, just go and watch my virgin relaxer video. I'll leave the link in the description. Now one of the cons of this method is in the timing. The key to using relaxers is timing. Two minutes may make a big difference in your results if you're after a slightly relaxed hair instead of a completely straight style. So if you want to do this with a relaxer, you want to do a strand test first, which is something I personally did using my own shed natural hair. I simply collected strands of my shed natural hair and tested a relaxer on them using different timing methods to determine the texture I was going for. So I actually did a strand test with my shed hair and that is how I came up with a timing chart of 12 to 16 minutes of processing time in my virgin relaxer video. So if you want to do this at home, make sure you do a strand test first. You can't afford to make any mistakes when it comes to timing or else you'll end up with different results than what's expected. Things could go wrong, you could end up over processing your hair and on rare occasions you could end up losing your hair because relaxers are nothing to play with. If you're not experienced, maybe seek out professional assistance and you could explain to their hairstylist what exactly you're going for. Text laxing is perfect for people with coily or curly hair textures looking to loosen their curl pattern. Something else similar to relaxers are texturizers. Texturizers for natural hair are chemical treatments that smooth and defreeze your hair while loosening your curls. Texturizers like hair relaxers work to modify your natural texture to make your curls more manageable. A relaxer can be used to achieve the same results as a texturizer by leaving it on for less time. And at the same time, a texturizer can be used to achieve a relaxer's result by leaving it on for longer. The results obtained is determined by how long the chemicals are left on the hair. Texturizers just like relaxers work better with S-curl pattern, in other words, curly or coily hair than a Z-curl pattern. And so depending on your natural curl pattern and hair length, 
It's not guaranteed that you'll get uniform loosened curls with texturizers or relaxers. Your strands can end up being lightly or extremely loose, so the key factor again lies in your natural hair texture. Now some of the pros of relaxing and texturizing are that your hair becomes easier to maintain because your curls are loose. Although texturizing your hair takes it away from being natural, you still get to maintain the original texture that comes with your natural hair since you aren't eliminating the curls 100%. The biggest misconception with texturizers is that they'll give you loose curls but they actually just loosen the natural pattern you already have. The results can vary from person to person. You can't predict the perfect outcome of a texturizer or relaxer, so there's a chance you'll be left with a variety of different textures on your head at once, just like your natural hair can have different textures throughout your hair. Cons of texturizers and relaxers are quite similar. Another pro to texturizing or relaxing is that if your hair naturally shrinks when it's wet, which is common with type 4 hair, you'll notice less shrinkage. This further means you don't have to use so many stretching techniques while styling, which will help you avoid too much manipulation or exposing your hair to heat tools. Because your curls get loose, you get to spend less time styling and your hair gets to dry faster than when it was natural. Texturizers and relaxers can help retain your length and enable your hair to grow longer if you follow good techniques in relaxing and have a good hair care routine. This is because hair that is texturized or relaxed properly will maintain a stretched appearance and therefore won't easily tangle create knots as a result of shrinkage or cause breakage as a result of tension when combing the hair because the hair will be smoother and easier to manage, hence avoiding too much manipulation. Texturizers leaves your hair more volume and help reduce frizz. As with any product containing harsh chemicals, the chemicals in texturizers or relaxers can damage your hair and cause breakage can make your strands weaker and leave your hair dry. The key is to avoid relaxing the same hair twice or overlapping when doing touch-ups, not applying on chemically treated hair, bleached or damaged hair and having a proper hair care routine. Curls gotten from texturizing or relaxing may not be uniform because they follow your natural hair pattern. Now there are a lot of relaxers and texturizer products and brands out there, so if you want to opt for a texturizer or relaxer, you can take some time and pick the brand you want to use and stick with that. Another benefit to text laxing would be the time needed for a relaxer or texturizer retouch. With text lax hair, you can stretch your relaxer up to 6 months or more before retouching your new growth because the new growth blends better in texturized hair as opposed to a straight relaxer. Now there's a lot of information still coming up about relaxers and their link to cancer. While we're still waiting for more accurate research on this subject, just keep that in mind. If you want to relax, make sure you follow all the safety protocols or better yet, try other options. And this video is exactly here to provide that. Another method of changing your texture is with curly perms. A curly perm on natural hair is a two-step process. First, the natural curl is chemically removed, your hair is straightened, and then the hair is set in perm rods. After applying and then rinsing the solution, finally, they apply a neutralizer and remove the perm rods. Because this is a two-step process, it's often called a double process style. There are numerous curly perms available, including Gino Curls and Jerry Curls. A curly perm is perfect for people with type Z hair who want to have a texture in their hair yet still have easily manageable hair and retain length. A curly perm restructures the hair to reduce frizz and making the hair softer, smoother, shinier and with a curl that's more manageable. One advantage of having a curly perm is that your hair will have uniform curls throughout your head as opposed to natural curls which usually have varying textures. 
Another advantage to having a curly perm is that you just saved yourself time away from styling protective style or using heat tools because curly perms just need a wash and go and your hair is all set, you can wear your hair full time. So just like relaxers and texturizers, the con of perming your hair is that it will make your hair dry, brittle and susceptible to breakage. So a good way to combat all of that is to develop a proper hair care routine and incorporate hair strengthening treatments like bone builders, protein treatments and deep conditioners. Another method of texturizing your hair is by using keratin treatments. A keratin treatment, sometimes called a Brazilian blowout or Brazilian keratin treatment, texture release or whatever you call it, it has so many names depending on the brand, is a chemical procedure usually done in a salon that can make your hair straighter for as long as 6 months. It adds intense glossy shine to your hair and can reduce frizz. During a keratin hair treatment, a stylist applies a keratin-based product to the hair and then uses a flat iron to seal it in. Keratin is a protein that the body naturally produces. It helps give structure and strength to the hair, skin, and nails. The chemicals in the keratin treatments help form a decyphite bond in your hair because it targets the keratin in your hair strands and alter their form. As chemicals diffuse into the hair, they change how the keratin strands are cross-linked depending on the thickness or length of the hair. The cross-linking is accelerated by the use of blow drying and flat ironing which straightens curly or kinky hair. After a keratin treatment, a person should avoid washing their hair for a couple of days. They should also avoid putting their hair up in tight styles using harsh shampoos or conditioners. You should also avoid exposing the hair to salt water or chlorinated water. It's also important to use sulfate-free shampoo and conditioners to help prolong the treatment because the treatment does wear off after 4-6 to six months, hence why people should avoid washing their hair too often as this can strip away the keratin treatment. Now, the keratin treatment is mostly used to straighten the hair, but one of its other benefits is that it will loosen your natural curl pattern, so you'll have looser curls just like texturizing your hair, except this won't permanently alter your curl pattern like a relaxer or texturizer, so you'll still be a natural, but you'll have benefits of having softer, shinier, less frizzy and more manageable hair. One of the advantages of a keratin treatment is that the hair does not break off as easily. Keratin is a structural protein and therefore it can strengthen your hair and reduce breakage. Some people have said that the keratin treatments have helped their hair grow faster as the ends are not splitting or breaking. So the con of keratin treatment is the cost. Keratin treatments are rather expensive. A person can pay up to $400 or more depending on the hair and the salon. They may need to buy potentially costly specialized hair products. Additionally, the treatment might require a time commitment of several hours at the hair salon. So which among these methods would you use to texturize your hair? Let me know at the comment section below.